Okay, I think we're here. Welcome to video one of my course, guys. I'm just gonna kind of explain CompTIA, kind of explain, you know, a little bit about IT. Do you need CompTIA, such and such. Uh, if you see my previous video, that was, you know, a little bit, a little bit of a joke video, but you know, still a little educational. But I enjoy making it. So this is gonna be a CompTIA A plus. 1101 course, 11, uh, uh, 1102 later, the CompTIA 1001 and the 1002, I believe they're about to expire in October. That's the ones I passed a while ago, about to expire. So I'm gonna kind of explain a little bit about that. Uh, if you haven't studied at all yet, just, you know, just stick with the 1101, 1102. Don't worry about the 1001. So, let's first answer this question. Why get CompTIA A+, you know, is this the only certification I can get? Where's all the other certifications? You know, there's a Google certification that, you know, I think a couple years back, I was, you know, thinking about getting those. I actually did get the Google cert, but um, bottom line is, you know, the CompTIA certification is like, you know, it's really well respected it's a solid certification um it's very broad but it explains a lot of things so you know when i took the comptia exam oh man and when i studied for it i learned so many things i did not know even after studying the google cert google cert is good it's just not as well known as comptia you know it hasn't it hasn't gotten there yet you know, if you're a gamer, just imagine, you know, if I came up with a console, oh no, let's not say me, let's say like LG came out with a console, you know, LG makes TVs, you know, let's say they came out with a console, you know, you think they're going to triumph over Xbox and PlayStation? Probably not. Kind of the same thing with CompTIA. CompTIA, you know, has taken that title already. So... Yeah, CompTIA can help you get a job, definitely. A lot of job postings I've seen require the CompTIA certification. Just search CompTIA A+. And then we see IT Help Desk. I'm in California, so you're going to get some cannabis action. You know, cannabis industry. Pretty good salary for IT Help Desk. And you, as you can see... Here is a preferred certification, uh, but as you can see, you know, CompTIA is here. And last but not least, you will, of course, learn from CompTIA. I can't tell you how many things I've done on a job where I think CompTIA. I was like, I remember this from CompTIA. So, you know, that's another reason you might want to think of. So, let's go over, you know, this course in general. Uh, let me first say that I'm not trying to be the next Professor Messer. I'm not trying to be the next Mike Myers, anything like that. Uh, you know, they're already the Xbox and PlayStation of the CompTIA course world. Those are very good courses, and I definitely recommend watching them. Uh, the thing I would like to do is... Put more focus, you know, I'm going to, of course, going to teach everything CompTIA, but put more focus on, you know, actual, actual on the job stuff. How does CompTIA relate on the job? So, you know, after um, every once in a while, I still haven't gotten it all planned out, but I definitely want to, you know, give some real world examples. Um, the plan is, you know, in each, each video I do, you know. Uh, I think it's very important, you know, you know, not only you have the CompTIA certification, but you'll go in with some confidence because you'll you'll kind of know how the the, um, the work world is in, in IT and you'll be able to take the knowledge you get from this course and bring it to the real world. So that's what I hope to do in this course, but I still would recommend to at least check one of them out. So... Let's go ahead and talk about the CompTIA 1102 and 1101 itself. 
So these are new certs. I think they were made public April 2022, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure on that, but these are the new certs. Uh, if when I started studying, it was you know the 901 was kind of still in existence. It's kind of that situation. Like if you didn't start studying now, just don't even worry about the 1001, 1002. Go straight for the 1101, 1102, because you have to pass each test of the same version. You can't pass 1001 and then pass 1102 and be certified. It's not going to count. You have to take 1001 or 1002, 1101 and 1102. You have to, you can't mix and match. If you think you you know it's August twenty second today. If you think you could do it, man, shoot, why not? Go ahead. You know you probably be able to pull it off. Uh, you know you could do a plus a thousand one in one month. You know do a thousand two maybe two weeks something like that. You know go ahead. Um, but with that being said as well, I really wouldn't recommend studying for the a thousand one and then taking the eleven o. 1101 with that knowledge, you know, you might be missing uh, Some information there might waste your money You might fail the test This is my opinion, but you know, you can do what you want. This is my opinion. You can take these at any time You could pass uh, 1101 today Two years later past 1102 you're certified But I would just recommend getting it over with just get it over with guys um, as for the test itself, you know, still similar to all the previous tests, you got your multiple choice, you know, pick A, B, D, uh, A, B, C, D, or uh, you also have your simulations, um, you know, doing command prompt, you know, typing in some windows, choosing images, stuff like that. Before we end the video, um, I did want to talk about one thing which might be a little weird on a video like this, but you know, I've seen this question a lot. I still see it. I have asked it myself back in the day. You know, do I need a uh, do I need an A plus to get a job in IT? The answer is no. You do not need uh, an A plus. Um, so depending on the job you want in IT, like there's plenty of tech support jobs. But let's let's stick to you know help desk tech support kind of job. You can definitely get a job without it. Um, experience will triumph A plus at all times. So the only reason I would recommend getting A plus is if you have no experience. So if your experience is lacking, that's when the A plus will come in handy. You know they'll look at your resume and. Oh, this person don't have experience, but he has his A plus. You know, maybe we'll give him a call. You know, call him in for an interview, something like that. With that being said, though, I did not get a job with only the A plus. I had to fit any IT experience I had, so that includes freelance IT. You know, I fixed some computers in college dorms. I put that on my resume. You know, assisting coworkers with their tech. You know, it wasn't part of my job, but I put that on my resume. You don't have to put anything on your resume. So I would advise you to take any experience you have, anything you did in tech, freelance, you know, being, you know, even out the kindness of your heart, you know, little grandma's like, hey, I can't connect to Wi Fi. You're know, like, oh, I got you. you. Put that on your resume. That, I don't think that's going to get you a job in itself. Uh, and that's where the A plus will come in handy for you. If you know that's pretty much all you have, I feel like that's when the A plus will help you out. It's gonna give your resume a second look, and most of all, you're gonna learn from the A plus. Especially this course, I'm gonna try to incorporate some real world examples of everything they teach you in in uh, the A plus. Passing the A plus is really gonna be whatever you're comfortable with. So, like I said, I watched Professor Messer and Mike Myers. I didn't take notes. Um, all I did was watch their videos and take practice tests and play RuneScape the entire time. That's what I did. 
And that's how I passed my A+. So you have videos, practice tests. I feel like practice tests are very important. Definitely look at you know any other resource that you might want. I wouldn't just use one. Uh, you know, not even my course. Uh, I might be not be able to cover everything. So yeah, that's just something we all say. And you know, I heard others say it, and I'm saying it too because I agree. I might miss some things, guys. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.